Ah, what's going on, guys? For the record, Jonathan Anders, Strategic Homeland Division Agent, day one of deployment on the first wave. They would kill me if they found out I was making these vlogs. But hey, I used to vlog when I was a civilian, and I'm sure as hell I'm not going to stop now. I'd like to tell you we're off to a good start, but we're not. Uh, I paired up with a couple JTF guys today. They're decent people, but they're slow on the intake. Understandable since their city just got destroyed, and I'm pretty much coming out of nowhere to help them. They have no idea who I am. They don't know what I do. I technically don't know what I do until Isaac sends my objectives to me, so we're kind of in the same boat. Worst case scenario doesn't even begin to describe what's happening here. Uh, it's just, they have this plan to make a huge quarantine zone in the middle of Manhattan. You know, great idea in theory, but once you start wrangling people up, that's a problem. I mean, Sarah's already starting to do that and people are already panicking. I mean, I get it. That's their job, that's what they do, but we don't even know for sure that New York is the hub of all this. Or Manhattan, for that matter. I mean, our scientists are scattered all over New York. We haven't even been able to contact one of them to find out what we're dealing with. Ah, uh, you guys are going to think I'm such a jerk. Look, I'm not a negative person by nature. I'm just making light of a terrible situation. All I'm saying is the JTF are taking a huge risk. It's a big shot in the dark with this. Data scanned. Downloading files. Hold that thought, guys. Jonathan Anders, Division Agent, Day 10 of Deployment First Wave, The Dark Zone. Yeah, that's what the JTF are calling their brilliant plan to quarantine the green poison. Dramatic, huh? Oh yeah, she's a gem of a place. You see, Sarah came in to try to ease the souls of those wandering the dark zone. Yeah, you know, I've seen enough outbreak movies to know that that's a fucking horrible way to keep people calm in a situation. <laughs> That's a fucking joke. You know, you might as well get on a loudspeaker and say, hey, this is where you're gonna die. <laughs> but hey, that's not my job. Division's got me escorting high value members of the JTF between the Russian consulate and the UN building. Pretty easy gig. I met this other agent, this uh, Vanguard they called him. Real shady type, really strict military. <laughs> he was something else. <laughs> Shit, gotta go. Anders, day 15 of deployment, first wave. I ran into that Vanguard guy again today. Aaron Keener, that was his name. You know, we got to talking about the whole Sarah JTF thing, and I'm, I'm starting to think that they don't actually have a plan. I mean, Sarah can't keep up with the intake of people, and, and the JTF, half the time, you ask them for help, and they don't even want to help. I spend more of my day arguing with JTF command than I do actually getting something done. I mean, this Keener guy, he's on to something. He's got some great ideas on how we should be controlling this situation. Some guy tried to run out of the dark zone today, but this idiot just kept going, kept pushing it. Shot him. That didn't go over well. <sighs> and now I'm starting to think maybe I should have just let him go. What, what was the point? Anders, day 25. So, the JTF and Sarah have their hands full in the dark zone. Not to say I told you so, but, uh, yeah, that place is quickly becoming a disaster. And our supply routes are all in jeopardy because of looters, and here I am stealing from some poor bastard's garage because I need tools. Yay. And you know, Kina was right about all this. I mean, this is why the Division sent us to begin with, to maintain control, to save what remains. And where are they now? The city's probably worse off than it was before. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. And you know, Keener is the only one with the testicular fortitude to actually stand up and do something about it, to question the whole process. Some of the other agents were talking, saying that Keener executed another Division agent in the dark zone. I mean, he probably had good reason, right? Morning. Hostile forces approaching. Fucking looters. Oh. I've been in New York for 30 days now. Isaac stopped updating. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. I'm meeting Keener today. 
Yeah. Because he is the only one that can help us now. The Dark Zone is officially in a lockdown. You can't get in and out unless you want to die. JTF left everything behind. We come here to help. The Division abandons us, and now what? We're all fucked? I am doing the only thing I know how. Surviving. Keener's assigned me to a mission he says will change everything. Gave me coordinates to a JTF chopper. Says there's some sort of high-value target on board. I'm inclined to do it. So that's it. The first wave was a failure. <laughs> Sorry, New York. For the final record, Jonathan Anders, former Division agent, signing off. Warning. Your Division affiliation has been disavowed. You are now marked as rogue.